Hey friends, I'm Diane. And I'm Jeff. Welcome to our farmstead dream. So we've had some things that have changed um, in our plan, which is normally what happens when you have a plan. And so we have been looking, I know that I've been telling y'all, you know, that we've been looking for land or a property that we can make our farmstead. And um, so with, I mean, we've been looking for a year and a half, two years. And with the way things are right now in the world and the prices of things and, um, you know, with mom's estate, um, they're wanting to get the house sold while it's a good market. So we've just decided instead of trying to hurry and find what we're looking for, um, we've just decided that we're going to rent something for just a little while so that it gives us more time to find exactly what we want so that we don't have to be rushed into a decision. So Jeff went on Friday and looked at a property for us to rent and it is a property that is way out in the woods. How far out do you think it? It's it's about 15 minutes outside of town. Okay. Um, but how long did you say the driveway was? About a half a mile? Uh, probably half a mile. So, you know, it's it's out in a very secluded area, and um, but it's only about 15, 15 minutes from his job. So um, he went and looked at it, and he really liked it, and I liked it from what I could see from the video. I couldn't go uh, with him because I had to go pick the kids up from school. Um, so, he, I, I asked him to video, and y'all, okay, I'm just going ahead and tell y'all, Jeff's signature is a finger in the video, okay? <laughs> it's always a, a finger in the picture or a finger in the video, so just bear with him. <laughs> He'll get better at his video, um, his video efforts, right? <laughs> so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert the video where he was showing me um, what the house looks like. So we just wanted to share it with y'all. Deck, uh, washer dryer, laundry room, kitchen. All right, and then this is the eating area. That goes the back porch. Eating area, living room. Okay, master bedroom. closet which is pretty deep walk-in closet Second bathroom. All right, this is back bedroom. Another walk in closet. Okay. 
and then the other bedroom. And then another walk in closet. Alright, so that's got it. Okay, so that was a quick view of the house, and it's the only view that I have had, and we weren't even sure we were going to get the house, um, but yesterday I spoke to the real estate agent who was, um, I guess she's over the, uh, renting of the house or whatever <laughs> and um she said that we could have the house and so we are still getting some things together and um i go tomorrow okay so today is wednesday july 31st so i go august 1st to meet with her sign the papers and get the keys um they have cleaned the house already this week and cleaned the carpets for us and so we are moving and i'm pretty excited about it i'm a little disappointed about having to leave my garden um so i decided you know because it's a bit early in the season um i decided to go ahead and harvest what i could this week so here you see me kind of showing you the garden and harvesting you know what's ready and um but we're in the process of trying to get the house up for sale as well so it kind of needs to be cleaned up some and we actually we're all gonna um get together this weekend um jeff's siblings and and us and kind of do some yard cleanup but now that we're moving this weekend um that will have to be put off to um, another date, um, which is good because it gives the garden a little more time to grow and it gives me time to come back and harvest several times if possible um, to get as much out of the garden as I can and I can always come back while the property is still up for sale. That won't be a problem. So I'm going to harvest as much as I can, but I'm also going to harvest seeds. So here you'll see me. I'm going to harvest some of the Cosmos um, the seeds from the cosmos so that I have seeds for next year and don't have to repurchase So I'm getting some cosmos. Look at the little bee. He's taking a nap on the rubecchia I'm um, getting some zinnia seeds all different kinds And as much of the seeds as I can I'm also going to be pulling up some herbs and putting them in pots to take with me and um I'm going to try and take as much with me as I can, actually, and I'm just going to put them in big pots. And I'm also thinking about um, cutting as many of these beautiful flowers and making some pretty bouquets for my new house. You know, I can take them with me and so I can have a little piece of the garden at my new house with me. So I think that would be neat. And it's getting stormy. And I need to go inside pretty quick, but I'm showing you my sunflowers and my zinnias here. So it started raining on me outside. So I decided to come inside and we're gonna label our seed bags. And it's just as simple as stapling them together. So I have my Cosmos and my Zinnia, and now I can take them with me to my new home, wherever that may be.